hold, stop. Well, the day definitely did not go how we expected. Well, unfortunately, not due. It's a, a Toyota. It's so buried, I can't get into any of the windows to clear it. So I brought the plate up so we can run it just to uh, see if by chance it's connected with anybody that's missing. Um, we ran into a similar case last year where we found somebody, pulled them out, and then one of the other cars had somebody in there that was from out of the area. So that's why we always check plates. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't tell what what uh, model of Toyota it was. So we'll see if that brings up any, any uh, information for us. This is one we weren't planning on. Wow, this is, uh, he's out of Stockton. Date last seen, July of 94. He is driving circumstances. Navarra's left home to go back to work in his beige 88 Toyota. When I saw Toyota Cresta, Cresta, I, he I, never returned. He was heading to a Delta Island ranch in Twin Cities Road area of Sacramento County. He never returned. Vehicle never located. Hey, uh, I'm reporting that we're out intentionally looking for uh, Duke Herringer, who's missing uh, somewhere with his car from 2018. However, we just accidentally uh, solved another missing person's case. He's been missing since 1994. We just found his car 30 feet deep in the uh, Delta. Okay, what's the uh, license plate? It is 2 Henry Tango Delta 233. 36 years old. He went missing July 1st of 1994. And his first name is Arnell, A-R-N-E-L. Last name is N-A-R-V-A-I-Z. Were you able to see anything in the vehicle at all while you were diving down there? No, the sill, so the vehicle is upside down. The, the vehicle is upside down and the sill is up past the uh, window, so I could not see inside. You guys just found the car? Or? Yeah, we were looking for a Herringer that went missing in 2018. We found a different guy instead that's been missing since 94. So it's a Toyota all solid frame or unibody where they call them vehicle is upside down so you want to turn your truck around so i have the vehicles off of this tree and i have a line i've already got everything attached for you uh, so you'll want to pull this direction keep it low so we don't lose anything out of it now it's buried in silt also so it's buried up to the windows so have to be careful to break it loose and hopefully we hopefully we don't pull that axle off of it is it 30 feet deep about 30 feet out and the bank is just one of those rocky banks. That, I mean, so you got a dive team going down to hook everything up? Already hooked up, I already did it. This one looked like it could have been his because it's upside down, it was the right length. So that's why I dove on this one, brought the plate up and it was the, uh, we, put, we Googled it, found in Namus. So it was not somebody we were looking for. So, but it was somebody that was in Namus. In Namus, yeah. Okay. You guys didn't for sure see anything in there. I heard that, like the windows. Were the windows are uh, silted in, so we couldn't see in the vehicle at all. So no, no windows were exposed. So hopefully if we keep everything low, and slow, bring it up, and we'll be able to keep everything in there. Hold! Stop! Hold up! Hold! All right, uh, hey, Becky! Becky, we're, we're going to be dragging across these rocks, and you have uh, remains. You want to grab any pictures or anything before you smash anything, or what do you want to do? See anything in there? Yeah, you got bones. Yeah. Okay. You want me to take them? You want me to take them out here, or you? What would? Right. What well, the the issue is? They're hanging out of the car right here. They're gonna smash across the rocks right here. Is what we have right now. Alright, there you go. You got a couple shots there? Yep. Of the people that I find underwater, in my opinion, I feel as though 50% of them could have escaped if they would have had a window breaker. Because a few things that I have seen with my own eyes over time as we have done this is I have found people crawling from the front seat to the middle seat trying to get out as they are holding on, looking for their last breath of air, looking for any way out. And if they would have just had a window breaker, 
I feel like they could have made their way out. So today, I wanna to break it down to you and talk about several of the mounting options and ways that you can use your window breaker and show you some examples. And across there, and you wanna cut sideways with it. Now, you can see the water, it's coming in right now. And so the car is just kind of floating and moving around. Now, in the um, scenario that you're in here, let's say that you've got your kids and you need to get your kids out. Right now would be the time that you'll be turning around to grab your kids. Now, the other thing that you would want to be doing is because the water has not yet come up over the windows, you would want to be popping the window out and getting out while the car is still floating before the, wind, the, before the water starts coming in. But what we want to do is we want to show like a really good representation of you know how much time you actually have in here so the car is still floating it's still filling with filling with water in fact i'll show you this as the water's coming in and i'll show the window breaker working under the water here and so i'm going to take it it has a push on this side 